everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to be stuffing our cash from our September 1st paychecks. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube and I am working on paying off debt as well as building up an emergency and sinking funds. So if that is something that you're interested in and you haven't already, please consider subscribing below. This was a good, another good couple paychecks. I did, this is the last time I'm going to get two, however, this was my last paycheck for my old job. As always, we'll start by running through the budget really quick. And I will link the full budget video below because this is gonna be a brief overview. And then we'll get right into the stuffing. So where is September 1st? Here we go. And as always, I will zoom you in. September 1st, my pay one, which was my paycheck from my old job, was $1,221.75. Paycheck from my new job was $3,102.50. Those together, my total pay for September 1st was $4,324.25. Now I did take out 1,200 for estimated taxes. So once I took taxes out, it left me with $3,124.25. And then I did have 198.06 in the bank. Part of that was the prorated days that my roommate is here till the fourth. And once I added that back in, it left me with a total budget of $3,322.31. This is also my first month that I am paying rent on my own. I have a new lease. It is just me now. So my rent has went up to $1,700 a month. So we got rent, the basic utilities, my health insurance, my credit card. I talked a lot about this in my budget video, so I'm not gonna go into it here, but my student loans have totally changed. So I need to call them and find out what's going on with the freeze being over and try to get that situated. I do have my violin, I did save 50 for gas, and because I wasn't sure what was going on with my student loans, I did not put in a snowball this time. However, I will be putting in a big snowball on the 15th. So again, I talked about that in the budget. My medicine was due, so I did pull out, unstuff my medicine envelope, and then I had like 40 in there, and I needed 59 more, so I did take leave 59 in the bank to pay for my prescription. So when all was said and done, it left me with $1,060.53. I decided to leave $501.53 in the bank, again, because just the student loan thing, and then I took out 500 in cash. This is how we're breaking down the cash, and that is what we should have over here. All right, we should have 500 in cash right here. Let's count that and make sure that is so. 100, 50, 200, 50, 70, 90, Let's sneak a 10, 300. I'm gonna move this for a minute. Need some more space. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So this should be 100. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. All right, awesome. So we got, we have what we were expecting. There's that 10, sneaky little 10 back there. And we are going to sort this money and we will start with the cash stuffing. Let's put this guy back. We have our hundred, fifties, twenties, tens, fives, and ones. All right, looking good. As always, we'll start with the wallet. So let me situate myself here. Okay, wallet. Oh, forgot my change jar. Let me go grab that. All right. Definitely have change. So let's start by getting that. 
Oh, there's a good amount of change. Oh, that's like a receipt. I just realized I did that whole thing and I didn't move the... <laughs> All right. Now we do have a few ones left. We have three in here, so that's gonna go towards savings challenges, and I believe that is it. This cash is actually the cash that I unstuffed from the medicine envelope. I need to go bring deposit that in the bank so I can go grab my medicine today. But other than that, we are empty and we're ready to stuff. Food and home, so food is getting 180, and as usual, I'm gonna do the split week one, week two. So I have 50 for this week, 50 for next week, and then we have, so that's 100, then we have 20, 40, 60, 80. So 20 for this week, 20 for next week. Today is Saturday, I'm filming this a little in advance. I am supposed to be going out tonight, so I did save $30 for going out. Let me put that in there. And then I did do 20 for miscellaneous, but instead of splitting it between week one and week two, I decided to put the whole 20 in here just in case I go over. I go out tonight, and if not, then it'll just be here. So I just wanted to cover myself just in case. That is my wallet, so we are good to go there. And put this to the side and we are ready to do first off do you guys see what's happening here it's getting like so thick it's bursting and a lot of it has to do with the savings challenge money but i definitely think i need to do a bit of a bill condensing but this is my week two envelope so we're gonna sh put it in there so i can stuff that next weekend when i need it for food and let's get into the sinking funds here so the first one is bills. As you guys know, this is my emergency fund for bills and I am just beefing this up as much as I can, especially since I'm on my own. I just want to have that money there. For me, it is just worth it to throw money aside each time. And I think at this point, I'm probably going to do my bill condensing. I am going to start looking at putting some of these in my high yield savings account because there's no point in having the cash here. At this point, it'd be nice just to have it in the bank. So what is today even? So I said it's Saturday, it's the second. My bills emergency fund today is actually getting $50. I had enough money this time that I could stuff these envelopes a little more. So we're throwing 50 in the emergency fund for bills, which I'm pretty excited about. We now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 245. I like the sound of that. That is a nice, I mean, that definitely pays for utilities. I mean, depending on the month, it could even be two months worth. Um, but yay, that it's also half a car payment if I need, so love it. Medical, as I said, I unstuffed for my medicine, so we're gonna skip that one. I decided to give my general savings a 20. I'm gonna just rearrange for a second because I'm feeling really crowded. All right, well, savings is 20. And, um, don't think I put the 20 in yet. We now have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57 in our general savings. This is really just, like I said, a savings. I don't have anything earmarked for it as of right now. I'm skipping shopping and I'm skipping giving again. I am really, if the ones that are starred here, bills, car, and family, which is my mom, those were the priority and everything else I kind of did secondaries on. But Riley is getting 15. And I realized Riley is due for her rabies shot, so that has to happen. Might need to call them next week. Riley has 15 here. All right, Riley now has 20, 30, 40. I'm sorry, I just counted these by 20s instead of 10s. <laughs> 
10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. That was really weird. <laughs> All right, she's got 45 in her envelope. My car is getting 20. As you know, this is my car emergency fund and I still haven't did the oil change yet. I need to make a to-do list here. As I see, I have some appointments I need to schedule, but I think part of it is trying to fit, cause I used to work Tuesday through Saturday. So I always had Mondays to do these things as a day off. And now I work Monday through Friday. Now I'm realizing, oh, the thing is, if I try to schedule appointments, it might end up meaning I have to cancel sessions and I haven't wanted to do that. But I guess I'll have to figure that out because these two things definitely have to happen. Riley and oil change. So my car is getting a 20 today. This is another sheet that's about to need a new one. I just realized I've been writing September 1st for everything, but it's not the first. It's like Saturday. <laughs> well, actually it's the second because it's, it's not that far off. All right, so we're getting 20 for the car. My car fund now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So my car has $141, more than enough to pay for the oil change. So yay. My family is my mom, and I am super excited about this cash stuffing. It's the most I'm throwing in for my mom, because again, I have more money, I was able to. My mom is getting 100 today. That is what this $100 bill is for. Um, I talked about this in other videos, but at this point, my goal is to pay her off for Christmas. So I plan on basically saving as much money as I can to get as close to the payoff amount by Christmas. I mean, that may or may not happen, but at least I wanna get halfway. I'm gonna put that check with her Christmas present. She's getting 100 today. This brings my mom up to 120, 40, 60, 70, 80. So she has 180 again. We did make a payment in May, so we're building this back up again. But yay, I was super excited to get to put that much in this time. Secret Stash is 15 today. And let's. Wait, I did that all backwards and I messed myself up. Okay, this thing is getting hard to even put stuff on. Okay. Bill condensing is obviously happening in the near future. So secret stash is 15. Now we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38 in our secret stash fund. And that is it. We should have $50 left sitting here for savings challenges. Oh, like, is it not even going to close? <gasps> it's not closing. Okay. Man, I wish it wasn't Saturday because I would love to go grab some 50s and 100s and do a bill condensing, but I don't, my ATM doesn't do 100s. And I know I need a few. Let's go back to this because I'm getting sidetracked once again. This should be $50 for savings challenges. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 towards savings challenges. Plus we'll throw in the extra three that was in my wallet. We'll have a nice little chunk of change to put in those this month. So I'll throw that here for now. I kind of stopped the 100 envelope challenge this year, but I was thinking, well, I guess I shouldn't say that out loud. It would be nice to try it again, but for now it's there, I guess. All right, but we're putting that in there and that is it. We are stuffed. We are, our budget is done. We are good to go until September 16th. This pay period was pretty much one of the highest paychecks I've ever received in my life. And if my calculations are right, my next paycheck is going to be a little bit higher. I don't know why I'm guessing it because I'm afraid I'm calculating wrong because it feels too good to be true. But I guess we'll see when the pay comes. But yeah, I think it might become, the September is about to become the most money I've ever earned in my entire life in one month. And I've, I've been sitting with that thought a lot lately. And it's really been bringing up a lot of stuff in a good way. It's been bringing up a lot about debt and what I need to 
I feel like I almost need like a reboot at this point because with all the changes that have occurred, it's really changed my situation for me. And I think with the change of situation, the change of job, the change of lo like living in life, it's probably going to become a change of this, right? So uh, I guess I will see what the paycheck looks like, but it should also be another decent paycheck. It should be enough that I can actually completely come up with a 1700 rent fund that sits as an emergency month so i'm always a month ahead i always have a month that's kind of my goal for rent is to always have a month ready to go that just makes me feel better actually as a contract worker because you know it's ebbs and flows and the holidays are always a little bit harder plus a lot of my licensing stuff insurance stuff is due this time of the year so it's you know it's nice to have that buffer but we'll talk about that in a later video. We are slowly but surely getting back in the groove of life and YouTube. Things are settling down after a whole summer of change. And I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you so much for sticking with me, for joining me, and for supporting me. I hope you guys are all doing really well. If you are trying to pay off debt, I am wishing you the best. Hoping for positive change in your life if that is what you are needing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!